most of us know what gentrification is. I remember when I was living in Washington, D.C., Louise and I lived in a neighborhood. We lived on a boat in the, in the marina there um, that, uh, the, that was you know, surrounded by a waterfront neighborhood that was uh, largely low income and black. There was a large housing project uh, just down the street. Um, and during the seven or eight years, I guess it was seven years we lived in D.C., during those seven years, that neighborhood just went through a complete transition. Uh, they tore down old houses, they tore down buildings, they built new hotels, they built, you know, this, the, whole, the, whole, the whole waterfront thing got rebuilt. Um, uh, you know, apartments that had been selling for thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 were selling for three and $400,000. Um, and, uh, you know, in buildings that were going to be torn down. I mean, it was just, uh, people were, uh, well, that's how gentrification works. So you're familiar with that. But I'd never heard of climate gentrification until I read this article about what's going on in Miami. And that is that uh, as the water levels are going up, Miami is starting to uh, get wetter and wetter and, you know, heavy storms and high, uh, with these called king tides, these, these tides, you know, uh, high tides that are higher than normal, high tide at, with a full moon and all that kind of stuff. And it's starting to, you know, leak water into the streets of Miami. Now, there is a neighborhood in Miami called Little Haiti. And Little Haiti is very poor and very black. But Little Haiti is also 10 feet above sea level, whereas the rest of Miami is two, three, four feet above sea level. And so what's going on right now is that suddenly there are developers buying up properties in Little Haiti and pricing out the locals who have been living there in some cases for generations, in some cases probably for centuries or at least a century. And uh, it's literally gentrification. There's an article about it that was published uh, Monday of this week in the journal Environmental Research Letter Letters. Uh, they found that the at the current rate of sea rise, sea level rise, by the end of this uh, century, uh, w there are 2.6 million people in the Miami region are going to be basically underwater, and uh, that these homes, these very wealthy homes in the beachfront areas that are at sea level or a foot above sea level. They're starting to lose their value very, very rapidly and can no longer even be insured. Whereas the homes in Little Haiti and some other communities, some of the other poorer communities in, in Miami that happen to be, you know, 10, or 10, 10 feet above sea level or more, they're now increasing in value and thus pricing out the local folks.